I'm not serious. <laughs> my mommy, you know I'm not lying. Oh. If you know how my mind is disconnected from that topic, eh? <laughs> Why? Because you think you're too old. Am I not? No, you're not. <laughs> Okay, when was the last time a man looked at me with such admiration? In fact, right about now, if any man looks at me like that, I don't think I'll be able to recognize it. Why won't you? No, just, just wait until you meet a tall hunk. Of course you will. Come on. I see. So because you're in love, you think everybody's all mushy mushy like you. <laughs> but mommy, I'm not mushy mushy. Who says? Young lady, look at yourself in the mirror. You are all oh mushy, mushy. That's what you are. Okay, um, I confess. I, I can say that I'm happy that I and Toby were working things out, you know, the past issues. And that's how it should be. Right? Yes. Okay, right. I'm sure you're done with this. Yes, Let me take it. I'm yep, sure yep. Toby is even close. So should. Yes. Hurry. Okay. Are you sure the drinks are um, cold? Maybe we should move it to the freezer. Okay, I think fast. my money. Hold on, sweetie. Okay. Sizing you up or any of those things you hear more than those do, okay? <laughs> Chill, okay? We don't bite. Yes. yes. Thank you. Thank you very much. My heart was actually pounding. <laughs> we hear you from here. <laughs> so, baby, I'm sure that this house has probably be the only place you'll be served a meal like this. Oh yeah, <laughs> this this is amazing. Don't mind how she's been struggling with jokes all these years. Oh me. So do you like the food? Yes, it's it's, it's amazing. What were you gonna say before? It's not. But it, food. It is amazing. <laughs> <laughs> of course it is. Um, anyway, there's still palladium inside, so we'll serve that shortly. No, we're, we're fine. We're fine, right? We're fine, all right? Besides, we're going to see my father. He stays oh, not too okay, far from here. Yeah, I'm sure yeah. he will still do all of this, so. Yeah, Belinda mentioned it. That's okay. Yeah. So, this young lady has told me what you do for a living. Okay. But I want to hear it from you, so. Tell me, what do you do for a living? Coming, the door is open. Hello. Hi. What's going on? I was here when your son said you would be coming in today with his girl. So? So, I came to help prepare for him. Bridget, please. Please what? Isn't this thing? You brought from the restaurant you want to present to your daughter-in-law to be? James, I'm only trying to help. Stop pushing me away. Don't worry. By the time they arrive, I won't be here. Is that okay? All right. What do you have in your basket? Meat. Like your father will not worry about food, at least for today. <laughs> Trust me, he will prefer hosting you himself. <laughs> so let's okay. 
son. <laughs> Good to see you, son. Hi, James. Hi. Dad, so good to see you. <laughs> so good to see you, Dad. Good too. And, and this must be your fiance? Oh, yes, this is my daddy. Dad. Oh, come here, come here, come here. Good afternoon, sir. Oh, it's good to see you. So dear. You're beautiful. <laughs> Thank you, sir. I'm so happy. I'm so happy seeing you. Um, um, Toby, I hope you got my supplements. Oh, yes, I got some of them. They said I should come back tomorrow for the rest. I'll get it tomorrow, okay? Uh, it's okay, no problem. <laughs> My darling, please, may we go inside? Sure. Mm. <laughs> oh, oh that, Dad, you, don't you think you're being a little too sweet with my girlfriend? Uh, hey. Excuse me? Your girlfriend just passed. You know? uh, excuse me? You guys are not serious. Excuse me? And what? And what? Your girlfriend just passed. Something is wrong with you. I know. <laughs> So, Toby, is that? Are you telling me now that she is the one? <laughs> Obviously, that she's she's wearing my ring. Uh, is, is he a good man? Hmm? <laughs> <laughs> the best. Fantastic. Wow. You know, I was very sure that this food wouldn't taste nice, considering what my soon-to-be mother is looking for. Hmm. I didn't know the competition had started. <laughs> no, so there is no competition at all, please. Well, well, Toby happens to have taken sides. We're supposed to be one family, aren't we? Of course we are. Mm. Okay, fine. I am sorry. All right? My bad. All right. It was really nice. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? Very. My pleasure. You know, I was hoping that the girlfriend would just join us on this table, like pop out from somewhere. I've also been hoping that I don't choke on that for at all. <laughs> Two of you, oh my god. Sorry. <laughs> Does he do this often? No, no, he doesn't. I mean, does he leave you on dinner tables to go as I call? No, he doesn't. So this is like once in a while kind of something? Yes, sir. I'm good. No problem. <laughs> Enjoy. So funny. <laughs> Thank you, sir. <laughs> Yes, I, I understand, sir. It's just that I thought Edwin was being prepped for the um, for the trip. No, it's, it's not a problem. I'll make that happen. No, I haven't seen it. But if she confirmed to you that she's done the booking, then I am sure it will be in my mailbox. I'll, I'll check it right away, sir. Yeah. Of course, of course, of course. I will. All right, thank you, sir. So I'll, I'll come to the office in the morning before heading to the airport. All right, sir. Thank you. That's my suspicion. <laughs> Guys, any time you're not suspecting something, you're always do, suspecting do, something. Look, but you know I'm right, Abby. The MD is grooming you. Yes, sir. <laughs> you know that the boss just fell out, you know, had a fallout with Edwin, and that's why he thought I was a quick replacement. Dude, are you the only one in this office? Why you? Don't you understand this? Why is the MD going to choose you to go to Abuja? Go to Abuja and spare the process that I've been running for 18 months right now. Well, it's because I've been with the team from the get-go. I have been with the team too, bruh. Trust me. Seven of us. Have you forgotten? Seven of us. And after several months, the MD calls you to spare the whole process. Okay, Check so it what out. exactly are you driving at? What I'm saying is that the MD has got an eye on you. He's grooming you. He's got interest. Can't you get it, bro? It's very simple. And there's something you have to be conscious of. Huh? What? A lot of people are not happy about this. You understand? Even me, myself, I the rebuke spirit of jealousy small, small. You <laughs> You've lost the boat. No, I'm serious, man. Come, I did tell you something to make sense. The talks, I, I don't lose my mind. Seriously. 
No problem. So I'll, I'll call you, yeah, when I settle in, okay? I got you, bro. Mm. If you need anything, mm -hmm. don't hesitate to let me wow. know. Yeah. Right. Take it easy, bro. Yup. Sure. Bye-bye. Even if you want me to come, I'll be official. No problem. <laughs> All right, take it easy. Bro. All right. Bye-bye. Baby, I'm at your dad's place. I've been knocking. No one is opening. I called. His phone is not available. Can you please call me when you said to so I can know what to do, okay? Please. I love you. Bye. So when you say he really needs a supplement, is he recovering from an illness of some kind? Um, or he's, he's sick? He's anemic. Oh, so he's on um, a blood booster supplement. Yeah, he's very particular about his supplements. Now, yeah. yeah. No, me was now. He's not that serious. He's not sick. It's not like a pity party game here. He's okay. Just that he's taking, you know, he takes his supplements. I mean, he needs it. I'm just saying that uh, leafy green vegetables like spinach, kale, mm -hmm. and some organ meats like kidney and liver, all he needs to be eating consistently, and his red blood cells to be up. I know, right? Mm -hmm. But it's not everyone that can do all this. Your food magic, mommy. You know that. Okay. Oh. This is really nice. I like it. it tastes so good. Thank you. Mm. I'm so tired. Like, I'm so tired. It's been a long day for me. Sorry. <sighs> no, Martin. I need your help. Please. With what? Can you help me just take the supplements to him later? What? Why in the world would I do that? Why won't you, Mom? Come on, please. If I don't oh. have stuff, he's gonna kill me. Cause he really needs it. And I have a lot, a lot going on today. I have to see a bride whose brother shower is tomorrow. I have a meeting with a client whose parents are celebrating their fiftieth wedding anniversary. I don't even know when I'm gonna finish. And I, I don't want to go with this supplements. Please, just help me. Listen, all you need to do is just call him. I'm gonna give you his number. Call him. You don't need to go there more than once, please. Come on, mommy. And besides, he doesn't even stay far away from here. He go down the street. He lives like three streets away from us. Just call him and give it to him. You, you don't need to go there more than once. I'm going to give you his number, please. By the way, it's high time you met my father-in-law. But such meetings have to be properly organized by his own son. That's how it's done. Ah, where is that from? There's no rule like that. You can always meet him. Come on. What is he calling me? Mom. The client's calling me now. Hello? Hi. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. Um, I'm coming. Give me like 30 minutes. I'll be there. Thank you very much. Bye. Mommy, please. You're already calling me, please. <sighs> Come on. Okay, fine. I'll go. <laughs> Thank you, mommy. But you have to stop sending me on such errands. I have to go. Please. Thank you so much. Don't forget to. You know what? Just don't don't go today. Just go tomorrow. I think it's a bit, a bit late. Don't go. Just try and go tomorrow. So you meet him. Well, make sure you call him. I'll send his number to you, right? Please. Thank you. This is really nice, but I have to run. Okay. Bye. Love you. Do your supplement. I'll send it back to you, alright? Alright. Have a nice day. Thank okay, you. Bye. See when love is in the air. It don't matter what you do. It don't matter what you say. Love will surely make it through. It has never been the same. 
Since I set my eyes on you, you don't make me go insane. And it's all because of you. So, I'll be I'll send someone from the office to you. Give them a file, it's in the drawer. I will surely make it through. It has never been the same. Since I set my eyes on you, you don't make me go insane. And it's all because of you. Coming. Good morning. Um, Priscilla from Toby's office. Oh, hi. Um, Belinda, Toby's fiance. Oh, wow. Congratulations. I didn't know you two are engaged now. Yes, we are. <sighs> Toby said I should give you this file. Oh, yes. I need to take it to Abuja. Take it. Mm hmm I thought he said you're sending it. No, um, taking it to Abuja. Toby asked me to come over and help with the deal, so uh, I'm leaving right now. Okay. Um, this is a file. You can have it. Oh. Thank you very much. Yes, I am. Good day. My name is Nancy. I'm Belinda's mother. Oh, my Belinda. Please yes. come in, come in, come in. Oh. <laughs> Please, um, sit, 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 sit here. Thank you. Ah, lovely. What a pleasant surprise. Yeah. Now I'm getting to meet my in-law. <laughs> and Toby told me that um, Belinda brought my supplements. I'm sorry. I was caught up somewhere in traffic and there was no network on my phone. Oh, but I brought them. She had to run off yesterday. Oh. She made you bring them? These children. That girl can make me do literally anything. Can they all? <laughs> um, can I get you something? You mean like a little of your supplements? <laughs> Don't mind me. I was just wondering why you're not investing in some blood booster meals instead of this. And get myself poisoned in the process? Oh, I'll definitely poison myself. Preparing simple meals has been the challenge for me. That means you've been patronizing restaurants for... Well... Oh, for like, um, since my wife left and remarried, well over 10 years. What? Mm. 10 years? Yes. These restaurants are making a lot of money. <laughs> Honestly, they are. I'm just thinking, maybe I should do the business. You want to run a restaurant business? No. Um, a food, drink, and salad bar. That sounds interesting. Mm -hmm. I'm thinking of a combination that could help with the blood boost energy, and maybe help with the skin, a healthier, better skin. No, you, no, no. You, you mean there's food that can do all that? Oh, yes, absolutely. So what are you waiting for? Do let me be your first customer. <laughs> no, no, it's not a laughing matter. These supplements have been very expensive, and I wouldn't mind a healthy alternative. Okay, okay. I'll work on a price list and send it to you then. Great, great. Um, you have a brand name already? Not really. Great. Let's let's find one. Um, let me get pen and paper. Um, uh, for the records, I did some time with a brand and product marketing company 
five years ago. I swear, I was their brand manager. Let's get you a brand name. Bridal shower. The fact that I planned it doesn't mean you should dump it on me, please. Uh, I'm sorry I can't make it to the bridal shower. I'm not in the right frame of mind right now. What's going on? What happened? Belinda, talk to me. Uh, talk I, to me. I, I think um, Toby is cheating on me again. Why do you say so? Do you remember uh, Priscilla? Oh, that Toby's office girl, his colleague. Yes, I met her. What? Yeah. So, um, Toby woke me up this morning and said his office sent a lady who was gonna come here, pick up a file and send to him, you know. So a lady worked in here and uh, said her name as Priscilla and uh, she was going to Abuja to give him the file you know not sending the file to Abuja and then she said again that she needs to help him to cross the deal or something but that doesn't mean they are together really yes so w w why is it hard for to Toby to tell me that she was coming to Abuja to meet him why was it hard for him to say that Priscilla was coming to the house. Why was he holding back? I mean, he said a lady was coming here, first of all, and he said she was selling the file to Abuja. But she came here and said she was going to Abuja to get him, right? That is see? quite suspicious. Do you remember what I told you? If you're not giving it to him, someone else will. Well, Faith, why are you talking like you don't know me? You've known me for so many years. You know I was having sex with all of my boyfriends, even the ones I slept with on the first date, right? And then I decided to stop this crazy sex life. I wanted a break, right? Toby came into my life and said he was cool with it, right? So why, why, why is he messing around? Remember you decided to stop having sex because you wanted to build your self-control? Come on, girl. You've been dating Toby for almost a year and six months. I think you should think about this. Sex doesn't keep who doesn't want to be kept. The first time Toby cheated on me with, with the same Priscilla, he camped out for weeks. You know, I got to find out in a dinner with his friends who just mistakenly said it, right? And he promised he was never going to cheat on me again and here he is doing it again men would even roll on the floor crying begging you that they will never cheat on you again and again let me remind you there is no man 
that won't cheat on you. You need to get used to this, babe. I think that is a stupid talk. Why can't I cheat? Oh, you think I can work out of the door? You think I don't meet cute men outside? I can jump on? You think so? I mean, I made the decision to remain faithful to Toby. Cheating is a freaking choice. I just don't want to cheat on him. I want to remain faithful. That's just it. So why can't he just do the same to me? Why can't, why can't he be the way I am to him? Why? Why, 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 why is it just all of... Belinda, you know. calm down. There is no man that would be in a relationship without sex. Let me just let you know that. No man in this world. You know what? I'm, I'm sorry. I'm sorry about all this. I'm really sorry, Kibi. I guess I'm just gonna stay indoors and cry myself to sleep. I just cry all day until I'm strong or something. I don't know. Just, just please, just, just go ahead. I know if you go to the bridal shower, it's gonna come out well. Please, just go with it. You can trust me with that. I'll definitely take care of it. You need to Thank calm you. down. Thank you. You need to calm down, baby girl. Don't cry too much oh. because of a guy. Please. Mm. Sorry, baby. doesn't mean you're a horrible person. No, I, I believe you actually, but my dear, my ego took a hit when she left us. Well, I, I've recovered and uh, <laughs> I feel better now after so many years. I, some confidence has come back. And then, you know, Toby turned out a great kid. Aha. So now I feel I, I, I didn't do so badly after she left us. No, you, you know, didn't. Toby is such a great kid. He is, he is. And then soon we're going to start talking about grandkids. Oh, yes, that one. I can't wait. <laughs> <laughs> I can't wait. So, yeah. this is home. Oh. Oh. So close? Yes, I told you. Wow. <laughs> All right. Okay. I thank you so much for walking me home. Yes, and thank you for taking out time to bring my supplements. Please, don't forget to let me have what I ordered. I will. Thank, Thank you. you. All right. All Bye. Right. There you are, baby. Is everything okay? How? Welcome. How? You... <laughs> I just got back and you're sitting there. 
Are you alright? Sorry. Hello? Yes, I am. Uh, I was actually planned to see you in the office tomorrow. Now? Okay, okay. Sure, no, 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 it's not a problem. All right, I'll be with you soon. Yeah. All right, sir. Okay. I have to see my boss, all right? Please help me take this in. And when I come back, be ready to tell me what the problem is. All right? A broken promise Heart shattered into a thousand pieces That's all I'm left with Hello, Dins. Hello, Nancy. Okay, please don't ask me if I have a business name yet because I don't have. <laughs> well, I was actually calling to ask but now i have my answer i don't even know why i allowed you to talk me into this that is even remotely possible look this dream is better off in my head no i didn't talk you into doing anything you were already willing enough to you know do something and you were thinking of it all i did was encourage you to go for it please come up with the names Hard and big. <laughs> it doesn't do. it doesn't have to be that hard. No, you know, it could be something as simple as uh, Nancy's bottle. Nancy's bottle. Why do I think that is so nice? No, no, that's just an example. <laughs> Hold on, Nancy's bottle. That's perfect. I'll go with it. Nancy's bottle. That's it. All right. Looks like you've been looking for an excuse. Okay, maybe I am, but the name is beautiful. I like the name. Okay, I'll see what Benina thinks about it too. All right. And I hope I'm going to have my Nancy bottle soon. Here we are. And I'm also waiting for your red card. I'll send the, the red card. Great. Okay, bye. James. Bridget. I know you haven't eaten, so I brought lunch. I have, actually, I have. James, I know you have not. What is it about me? that you don't like. Who told you I don't like you? You are not addressing a kid here. No, 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 this is not a matter of addressing a kid or not. I mean, have I ever told you I don't like you? But it's written all over you. All right, listen. My life is quite complicated now. And I don't want it to be made more complicated than it already is. Are you saying my being in your life will make your life more complicated? Not just you. Anyone else. <laughs> but somebody was here all through yesterday. What do you mean? A lady was here all through yesterday. Are you now stalking me? James, I'm your neighbor. So sometimes I see things whether I like it or not. All right. She's my in-law. I don't care to know who she is. So. What are you doing? 
Get to the place so we can have lunch. Toby, I can't do this anymore. You can't do what? You know, the first time you cheated on me with this Priscilla girl, I refused to meet her because I don't want a picture of her in my head. Then you sent her to the house. I did not send her the company did. Toby, don't be sloppy when you want to lie. You recommended that she join you. Oh. So you were at the meeting when this recommendation was made? You know, I didn't need to be at the meeting. She told me. And maybe you missed out on the part that she was supposed to bring the fight to Abuja to meet you. Whereas you told me that the fight was to be sent. I was trying not to create an impression. Why are you worried about creating an impression when you do not have anything to do with her? Look, I don't have anything to do with this girl. Yes, I made a mistake a few months ago, but you can't keep hanging that around my head all the time. To me, this trip was impromptu. It was supposed to be a very short trip. But you made sure she joined you. Babes, I do not have a say as to who, what goes on at the company. The company decides who's, who, what team is attached to a job. I don't have a say in that. I guess the company also fix who sleeps in your room and packs your bag. This doesn't belong to you. You didn't buy it for me. This belongs to Priscilla. She wore it to the house today. She came here. I can never forget the scent. And this is your t shirt. She slept in it. Tell me, I am not a fool. I am not a fool. You know what? There is no point explaining. Enough of this bullshit. Enough of it. Like I'm done with this whole bull bullshit. Lose my number. Babes, it hasn't gotten to that, really. Can you at least allow me to explain? To help with you. Babes, this is not the way to treat issues. Lose that! Leave me alone. Come on, come on! This is. Heart shattered into a thousand pieces. That's all I'm left with. Babes, don't be so hard on me now. That's all you left me with. Only fantasy. Nancy, my goodness, I've been trying to reach you. I've called you over five times. Yes, I have. And what's with the voice? Are you okay? All right. Okay. If you say so. Okay, um, can you come over to the house? I have um, something to discuss with you. Okay, that's fine. Okay, fine then. Please, can you help me cut the call, please? I have a call coming in. Okay. Hi, James. Oh, I'm actually on my way. Yes, I am. <laughs> um... Yes, it's, oh yeah, I'm not coming with just one, but I'm coming with three different options of Nancy's bottle. Yes, absolutely, the name works on me. Okay, that's fine, have your money. Hey babe, how are you holding up? I'm fine. I am sorry. No need to be sorry, you know. It's better now than when it's too late. I totally agree with that. Has it cold? He's been blowing up my phone with calls and text messages. And you don't want to pick? Pick and say what? Hmm. Babe, 
you need to see how bored Toby was with his bullshit called defense. I mean, like, till he realized that I had an evidence. If you were there, you would never want to speak to him again. He is so mean, he can lie. I'm sorry about that. But if he wanted to be with her, why didn't he end it up with you? Exactly. At least he should make up his mind. Yes. <sighs> but now I've made it easier for him, right? For them. You'll be fine. You know what? I'm taking care of you today. Anywhere you want to go to, so just name it. Club, shopping, or you want to play snookers? Just name it. Oh, babe, um, I'm going to be fine. You know, it just, I just, it just feels so bad that I wasted my time. No, you didn't. Yes, I did. Dating the wrong person again. No. There were good times with Toby, and even he can't change it. Um, just name anywhere you want to go. I'll personally take you out this evening. We need to go out, at least maybe club, take some tequila, you know, or do you want to go play some sneakers? <laughs> no, babe. You know, I would have really loved to go out this evening, but I can't. I, I have to go see my mother. Is she okay? Yeah. She called and she said something like she wants to show me something or tell me, I don't know. When she was talking to me, I was preoccupied, you know, so I wasn't listening. And besides, I'm going to be at her place more of now. So. You'll be fine, trust me. Right? Yeah, you will. I know. Just calm down. Uh, with time, I'm going to get over it. You know, this things of the heart. Sorry about that. I don't mind visiting Toby tonight with some thugs. Let me give him some little bruises. <laughs> Teach him a little bit of lesson. I don't want <laughs> him to mess with you next time. Oh, wait, no need, please. Please, no need for that. I I'm just fine like this. Thank you, but anyway. Are you sure? Yeah. Waiter! Second, <laughs> three options like we discussed. <laughs> Thank you. You're welcome. And I haven't even seen your red card. Um, well, I'll get Belinda to design something for me when she comes in. Please, let me have it as soon as she does so that I can pay. Okay, I will. <laughs> What? I hope our grandkids will get to look more like you and Belinda than Toby and I. Oh, come on. You and your son are handsome men. You know that. Mm. They're just trying to be nice. No. <laughs> I'm serious. <laughs> ah, I can't remember the last time I had a visitor that made me so happy. I can get paid for it. I'll do it every hour. Please, I'll pay. <laughs> <laughs> I'll visit for free. Mm. You're such an angel. You know, I keep remembering all we talked about the last time you came. And I find it difficult to come to terms with the fact that you've never been married. Well, believe it. I never made it to the altar. Yes, you said so. You said you said you talked about how after the birth of Belinda, you didn't want to have anything to do with any other man because of the way her father disappointed you. And uh, well, that was so many years ago. So, what about so many years after? 
time flew. Um, I actually got close. You know, mm -hmm. <laughs> I almost married a man I didn't really love. But I woke up one morning and ended it. Oh. My mom and I fell out for many years, but we reconciled. Uh, but if you had fallen in love, would you have married? Absolutely, yes. So, what about you? Well, I am. Um... Hold on. Mm -hmm. What could that be? Oh. Okay. Oh, mm -hmm. Belinda. I have to go. I'm sorry. All right. Let me walk you. Thank you. <laughs> So I'll um, go with this. Yes, yes, I will. <laughs> All right. You came into my world, the touch of your magic. You make me realize I can be happy once again. Wait till you give me chop, I know if you don't understand. No, no, no. But it's funny how love is beyond predictable. You came into my universe. Alive once again. What are you doing, Neo? Tell me, make I know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's funny how love could be indescribable. It's a miracle that somebody like you can hold me down. It's incredible that you came around and changed my world somehow. It's a miracle that somebody like you can hold me down. Ring. Belinda, what is wrong? Is something wrong? Yes. What is it? I I had to leave. Why? He cheated on me. Again? Yeah. What is wrong with Toby? Sweetheart, are you sure? Yes, I am. Well, are you okay? Yeah. I'm fine, Mom. So what are you going to do now? Um, I'm not sure what I'm going to do right now, but... A broken promise Heart shattered into a thousand pieces That's all I'm left with That's all you left me with Only fantasies They'll never I'm become very well, sir. reality There's something I want to talk to you about Toby, what's going on? I don't know if this is a good time. Just say it. <sighs> I really don't know how to say this. Um, Belinda and I broke up. I, 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 I didn't understand. I, I didn't hear that. Like, we broke up. Like, she broke up with me. And why would she do that? You know what, Dad? Let's keep the details, all right? What did you do, Toby? I'm waiting. I cheated. Again? It wasn't intentional, Dad. Is it ever intentional? Dad, look, I know what I did was wrong, all right? And it doesn't even look like she's going to forgive me this time. Do you blame her? Dad, I messed up, I understand, but you don't have to torment me too. Oh, shut up. You don't tell me how to react to this. Fine. I'm sorry, Dad. I'm sorry. 
Look, let me call you tomorrow morning, all right? Good night. Sorry? A broken promise. Hello, James. You sound like you've been crying. No. Nancy, you have been crying. Belinda has spoken to you, right? Yes. I don't want her to think it's okay to be alone because it's not. Maybe I'm influencing her. How are you influencing her? How are you the one influencing her? How? Toby is my son. Toby is the one that did wrong by her. Toby cheated on her. So, so, so why are you blaming yourself? I don't know what to think anymore. I don't want her to be so hurt and broken that she would just give up on relationships. And it becomes too late. And I know how I regretted being so angry with her father. Listen, her experience and yours are not the same. Yours is quite different from hers. So stop beating yourself. James, we need to bring them back together. Toby needs to do right and stop being irresponsible. And I want to let her know that she can forgive him one more time. I need to speak to Toby. It's okay. Um, I would also like to speak with Belinda. Okay. Okay. No, 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 no. okay. I'll talk to Toby too. Now, Nancy, enough of the tears. Okay? Take care of yourself. Okay. Thank you. Good night. It's a miracle that somebody like you can hold me down. I get you something to drink, sure. eat. <sighs> Toby, I want us to talk like adults. Did my daughter force herself on you? Of course not. We want to be with each other. Then what is going on? I'm really sorry, Ma. But the truth is, I didn't intentionally cheat on your daughter. I really needed Priscilla in Abuja. I found out that the MD of the company that I'm pitching to likes women a lot, so. I had to invite Priscilla because I knew that going to see him with her would give me the attention that I needed from him. Well, did it? Yes, it did. But it didn't end there. Look, Toby, do you even love my daughter? I love your daughter, Ma. With every fiber in my body, I do. But you obviously can't control your urge for other girls. I'm really sorry, Ma. I'm sorry that I hurt your daughter. It wasn't my intentions to hurt her. 
I wish I... I wish I knew what to do to make her forgive me. The same way you asked her to forgive you the first time. If I remember clearly, she walked into this house in tears, talking about how you cheated on her. I spoke to you on phone and you said you would do anything to get her to forgive you. So how many times will she have to forgive you before you start being responsible, Toby? I've never seen her love somebody like she loves you. It's so sad because I don't even know what to say to her. I don't know what advice to give to her. Because I don't trust your next move. I don't even know if she can ever trust you again. I'm really sorry. Yeah, you said that before. And that made you very sad. Sad and stupid. I felt I should have left him the first time he cheated on me. We're talking about the same girl here. Yeah. Priscilla. You know, she said something when she came to the house. She doesn't know we're engaged. And I'm like, Toby doesn't talk about our engagement in his office. But everyone I know, everybody I talk to knows we're together. They all know that we're engaged. Can you forgive him? No. How many times will I forgive him? Yeah, I, I know this is not the first time. You know. But what if he decides to turn a new leaf? You know, begin to take what you have more seriously now. Oh. He lied to me. Toby lied to my face when I comforted him until I saw the bottle of perfume that belongs to her in his bag and his shirt that freaked off her perfume. I don't know if she did that on purpose, but it's not just sex for them. I don't think so. It's not just it. I mean, like, she, she packed his bag, neatly folded his clothes. Something I know Toby doesn't know how to do. She did it. She did, she folded his clothes. I, I can, I can never, we can never ever trust him again. They told me you returned the engagement drink. Yes. There is no point keeping it. No, I didn't camp her. I only got her a service apartment because she had accommodation issues just for two weeks. But you were literally living there with her. With a convincing lie that made it impossible for Belinda to suspect you. Only to find out when your friend made a joke out of it at dinner. Ma. I'm really not proud of what I did. And if I had the chance, I would right all the wrongs. That's the door, let me get it. Hello, James. Mm -hmm. Hey, he's coming. Mm -hmm. Dad. Yeah. 
Um, I've talked at length with Toby, and I'm sure you've spoken to my daughter. But we all know that um, both of them coming back to be together again is solely their decision. So I guess both of you should talk. Let's give them time to talk, right? I have the same opinion, too. Okay. So let me get my phone. All right, so we'll be outside, all right? Because I caught you, right? No, don't say that. Oh, no, 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 wait. You know what, Toby? Why do you even want to be with me when you're clearly into her? Why? Babes. No, no. Oh, you want to be with the both of us at the same time? No, no. Babe, I just made a mistake. That doesn't mean I want to be with her. You call that a mistake? A mistake you keep repeating. Babes, please. Just give me another chance. I want us to work. I could make us work. There will never be anything like us. Like, the more I think about it, the more I am so sure. Because what we have has never been enough for you. What we have is not is precious enough to caution you and the thing in your trouser. So there is no need. Babes, Do you know? Please. Babes, I'm really sorry. Just, just, just stop. So what if they don't reconcile? Oh, it's going to be a big shame. <clears throat> it's going to be a very big shame. Because I really was hoping my grandkids would begin to look like you and... Um, and then, you know, after speaking with her, I discovered how really very intelligent she is. She's got this aura around her that makes her unique. I'm really going to be very sad if she doesn't end up coming into my family as my daughter-in-law. You didn't do bad with our bringing. Thank you for the kind words. It's not <laughs> kind words. They are the truth. It's the fact. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> I think it's up. Toby. Oh. Sweetheart, what happened? Why did he storm out like that? Let him just go, Mom. Let him go. I don't want him anymore. I don't want him anymore. Let him just go, Mom. Why is it so difficult for him to love me, Mom? Why does he think I can't find a man to love me, right? Like, does he think he's the only man that just wants to? It's okay. It's okay. Why are you going to do it? He's a better man. I just don't know what to do, right, Mom? He's a better man. He's a You hurt that girl. You hurt her and she got every right to be mad at you. Mad enough to ask me to leave her mother's house? Really? Why do I have this feeling that you are being very insensitive now, Toby? How does asking you to get out of her mother's house equate with the fact that you've been consistently cheating on her? That girl loves you. And all she's ever wanted to do was to spend the rest of her life with you. Well, I guess that won't happen now. Thanks to you. And then this one you're cheating with. Is she the one? Any plans for her? Really? You're going to be asking me that now? And why wouldn't I ask you that? Or you think it's enough for you to 
be sleeping around with her without having any plans for her? Is she the one? Make up your damn mind. Well, I don't know. I don't know. Oh yes, that one. I can't wait. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not coming with just one. I'm coming with three different options of Nancy's bottle. Yes, absolutely. It really works on me. Hello, Nancy. I hope you're doing good. Um, I'm really very sorry about what has happened between our children. But I... Um, oh, this is not what your phone call can do. I need to talk to her face to face, one on one. We need to interface. We need to... Assuming she's sitting here now. Um, Nancy, I need to be very sincere with you. I'm sad. I'm saddened by the fact that Belinda will not, after all, become my daughter-in-law as I had wished. But I feel worse by the fact that I'm going to lose my friend. And I really don't have to lose you. You, you make me happy. And I think... Somewhere along the line, I have also made you smile. Nancy, let me tell you how I feel. I feel that these two young ones, they will find the love of their lives very soon. They're young. They've got a whole lifetime ahead of them. But you and I, we have now, we have today, we have the present. And we can play with it. I may be sounding selfish or crazy now, but I don't know what it is about you that has just gone to gone inside and enkindled a feeling I had thought was long dead and buried. That what I what I thought was no longer possible. I don't want to. I don't want this to be the end of us, Nancy. Wait till you give me chop, I know if you don't understand, no, no, no. But it's funny how love could be unpredictable. You came into my universe with a magical feeling. Magical feeling. You brighten my horizon, I feel alive once again. Yeah, 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 yeah. Wait till you do me, oh, tell me, make I know, yeah, yeah, yeah. It's funny how love. Could be indescribable. It's a miracle that somebody like you can hold me down. It's incredible that you came around and changed my world somehow. It's a miracle that somebody like you can hold me down. Then I realize I've been hypnotized. Yeah, I've been hypnotized. See, I know the lie. I've been hypnotized. Happy. 
Is what you've been saying for weeks now. Why are you acting as if you're mourning someone? James, if you want me to stop greeting you, then say it and I will stop. Very well. Please, stop greeting me. Thank you. Morning, Mom. Hey, sweetheart. You're looking bright today. Oh, thank you, Mom. It's been weeks we broke up. I have to move on and leave. I know. I know. I'm happy for you. Thank you. Um, I have to rush off to the market. I need to get salt and some other things. I thought you bought some things the other day. I did, but I forgot salt. Oh, you did? Okay. All right then. See okay, there. See I'm going to find something and drink. Okay. Yeah. 
Stand by your window somewhere and look at my side of town. When love blows on stage, we all got to see. Stand by your window somewhere and now let us see lilies of love. You look beautiful. Thank you. Is, is, is that my product? Yes. Yes, it is. Thank you. You're welcome. Please. Thank you. Um, thank you for making it easy for me to see you. I didn't know what Belinda or you would think if I called or came. Well, because our children didn't end up together doesn't mean we're enemies. Look, I, I've, been, I've been meaning to tell you some things for weeks now. Maybe I should just, just say it now. And see? I've been thinking of you. I mean, I, I mean, I, I don't know where that came from, but I, I, I've been thinking so much about you. I mean, wondering what it would look like if, if we ever get to be more than we are just now. And wondering if you think of me even in that way. And if you do, how do we tell our children? Forget that I ever said anything like that. I'm, I'm sorry for bringing up this type of talk. I like you that way. I wanted to talk to you so much that I emptied my can of salt in the sink just to tell Belinda that I want to go and buy salt so I can come here. <laughs> Stop laughing, don't fool me. <laughs> anyway, um, wow. Felt like a teenager this morning, though. Never felt that way. Maybe we shouldn't tell our kids, I mean, yet or never. I mean, I, I don't know how they'll be looking at this. Me too. 
I visit. Yes, sit down. And start tomorrow, though. Um, Belinda will be sleeping at her party. It's a miracle that somebody like you can hold me down. It's incredible that you came around and changed my world somehow. It's a miracle that somebody like you can hold me down. Then I realize I've been hypnotized, yeah. I've been hypnotized by you. See, I know the lie. I've been hypnotized, yeah. Yes? Can I come in? I thought we were not talking to each other. Well, I don't have the kind of heart you have, so... Let well, me in. you can come in. I have a lady visitor inside. I thought you said she's your in-law. Oh, so you saw her? I see things. Well, you'll be seeing more of her from now on. It's funny how love could be indescribable. It's a miracle that somebody like you can hold me down. It's incredible that you came around and changed my world somehow. It's a miracle that somebody like you can hold me down. Then I realize I've been hypnotized, yeah. I've been hypnotized by you. See, I know the lie. I've been Mom? hypnotized. Yeah. Are you just coming back? I am. Uh... When did you get back? A while ago. Oh, Good okay. evening. Good evening. Wait, Mom, are you wearing makeup? A little. Wow. First in a very long time. Looks Thank nice, though. Thank you. Wait, did you apply blush? Yes. Did you even lines your lips. Yeah, small. Thank you. Looks nice. Thanks. Mm -hmm. Blush, eyeliner, leaves. Oh, okay. Okay, after tomorrow, we'll know when next. <laughs> no, okay, move in there. This one day is not enough for you. <laughs> oh. <laughs> What a wonderful world You dogs <laughs> Maka mm. Thank you Quite a while now. Nah, <laughs> <laughs> yes. All right. Oh. You should have met me a long time ago. And by now, you'll have put your legs on my body a million times. <laughs> it's okay. I'm happy it happened now. Mm -hmm. mm. That's delicious. What flavor is yours? You should taste it. Mm. Taste it. Mm. Belinda. Bel Belinda, please. Belinda, come back. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Let, let me get her. Let me get her. Oh, God, let me get her. No, no, listen. Calm down. Calm down, please. Calm down. Oh, it's 
It's a bad idea. I mean, you and I really. Why can I be this stupid? Please, <laughs> I don't want anything to come in between myself and my daughter. There's nothing will come between yourself and your daughter. I I'm going to go and find out or explain to her. Will you do anything wrong? No, you and I, this is foolishness. They're not going to accept it. <laughs> Who's I thinking? Don't take any decisions in a hurry. No, please. no, 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 no. You know what, James? Please leave. I I'm not ready for this. Please. <laughs> Shattered into a thousand pieces That's all I'm left with That's all you left me with Only fantasies They'll never become reality That's all I'm left with That's all you left me with where is the love we talked about? Where is the fairy tale we painted? Oh, I've been a fool And it's really not so cool A thousand stories And without a solid reason That's all I'm left Yeah, all right. Okay, ju just please, just reach her for me. Reach her first thing in the morning. Okay, I really want to speak with her. It, it, it doesn't really matter. Just reach her for me. Don't worry. Just reach her for me. Her number has been switched off. It's a miracle that somebody like you can hold me down It's incredible that you came around and changed my world somehow It's a miracle that somebody like you can hold me down Then I realize The number you are trying to reach is currently unavailable See I know the lie, I've been hypnotized, yeah And now I'm feeling like I found love in a beautiful place. The number you are trying to reach is currently unavailable. Your love is a beautiful thing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I just don't lose my breath when you smile at me. My heart beats faster. Hi. Hi. What are you doing here? Can we go somewhere and talk? We are talking. The phone has been switched off. <clears throat> yeah, but I'm here and I'm all ears. And please, can you be fast because I need to go for lunch. Sure. My my father has been trying to call you and I'm sure it's um it's because of the two of us. Tell your father to get his hands off my mother. I will be the only one to deal with your family. 
Why? I don't understand. I walked in on your father and my mother, practically making out in my mother's sitting room. <laughs> really? That's, 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 that's not possible. So why is he calling me? Now tell him, the next time I see him close to my mother, I will deal with him. My mother is not available for him to pray on. Okay? And without a solid reason, that's all I'm left with. That's all I'm left with. That's all you left me with. It's such a tragedy. Such a tragedy. That living me was that easy. The pain and the heartache is all you left me with. Where is the love we talked about? Where is the fairy tale we painted? Oh, I've been Who in fool. heaven's name is that? And it's really not so cool. cool. So I'll dry my tears. Good morning, Dad. What's going on? Dad, what in God's name are you doing with Belinda's mother? We are friends. Your friends? Yes. So you're trying to tell me that what Belinda saw was a friendship makeout? Belinda saw nothing. That whatever this nothing is, it is disrespectful. To who? To me, of course. She was supposed to be my mother-in-law. And she's not. And that gives you the right to go after her. Look, son. Nancy, I like her. If you had married her daughter, I would have kept my distance. And now? Well, now I don't know what's possible. But if you ask me to decide, I would marry her now. That you don't? No woman has made me as happy as that woman within such a short period of time. Dad, you want to marry a woman you just met? Really? Are you this naive? Excuse me. I may be your father, but I'm not as wayward as you. Nancy and I are too old to play the games that you young ones are capable of and adept at. We come as we are. You even sounded like a playboy. That listen, there are a thousand and one other women out there. Take any of them, take as many as you like, but this woman is off limit. And I must do what you say. If you ever want to see me again, It's a miracle that somebody like you can hold me down It's incredible that you came around and changed my world somehow It's a miracle that somebody like you can hold me down Then I realize I've been hypnotized yeah. Sorry about what, Mom? Please, I stop. Said, I said can I'm sorry. Can you just sorry. stop, Mom? I'm tired of all this. Can you just stop, Mom? Come at least. I, I, I said I'm sorry. Sorry okay? about I what I know. I know what I saw. Please. I was trying to call you, but you wouldn't even take my call for me to explain. Why, why, why would I take your call, Mom? I know what I saw. Right there. Okay, I will delete his number. That's what you want. I didn't even know how I did That is not my business. I am sorry. Okay, I will not be his friend again if that's what you want. Really? There's no point in explaining this. I know what I saw. It was clear. Uh, there is nothing, nothing the happened to me. I am not. still disappointed. There is no point confessing all this to me. Well, okay. you did it already. And you can't even be following his father for that because he broke my heart. You know it. You knew it. I am sorry. I didn't, I didn't know it would get this. I'm sorry. Please, you're not sorry about anything. Jesus you know what you did. Christ. You I'm were sorry. There. You were there with him. You saw him. You put your leg on top of him. Why would you even do what I am him? sorry. For goodness sakes. Like I'm 
The number you have dialed is currently busy. The number you have dialed is currently busy. I noticed you've been acting differently for the past few weeks. Well, I didn't understand until I saw the both of you. I also noticed you've been wearing serious makeup. Something you haven't done in a very long time. And then you check your phone all the time, looking forward to his SMS. I see you also smiling to yourself as much as I can. See? Uh, do you like him? No. 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 Mom, right. stop. No need to pretend. I mean, you can talk to me. We're adults. <laughs> well. I like him, maybe a little. Mom, you're even acting like a child. <sighs> you know, Toby and I didn't sleep with each other. Oh, come on, sweetie. We don't have to have this conversation. I know, Mom, but I, we've been so close, right? I tell you everything. Everything about my relationships, my sexual life, my exes and everything. Remember when you told me to try a relationship without sex? I remember. Well, Toby is that relationship. Are you serious? Yes. So, so are you regretting why you didn't sleep with him? No, ma'am. I mean, sex doesn't keep who doesn't want to be kept. Okay, so why are we even talking about this? I thought we moved on from them. I've just been thinking that if I, if I had slept with Toby and uh, you go have a thing with Toby's dad, that'd be very messy, you know? Yeah, I thought about it too, but since we've not gotten there in the relationship, I felt maybe I should enjoy what we have for now. Well, Toby and I haven't changed me to our relationship. So if you end up with Toby's dad, that would be too weird, you know. So what are you saying to me? Mom, I'm just trying to say that I I know you've been happy recently. I see it. I know it. And I'm so sorry everything has been so complicated. It's okay, sweetie. It's not that bad. Another man will come. Yeah. Of course I know. <laughs> I'm so sorry. I'm 
I found love in a beautiful place. Oh la la, oh la la. I can't describe how it makes me feel. Oh la la, mm. oh la la. Your love is a beautiful thing. Oh la la, oh la la. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I just don't lose my breath when you smile at me. Smile at me. My heart beats faster when you look at, me. look at me. Slow it down, slow it down, down, down. Belinda. Hi, Tonika. Hi. Um, can we talk? Yeah, sure, sure. And um, first of all, I must let you know that um, my dad won't bother your mother again. I made sure of that. He, he's really a gentleman. I really don't know what happened. You know, when you spoke to your father, what did he say about my mother? Oh, he said something about her making him feel a way that no one has made him feel before. But I'm sure he'll be fine. Yeah. You know, I think my mother really likes your dad. Really? Well, if I didn't know you, I would say you're actually supporting them to be together. Um, well, I'm not sure what I want. That is why I'm here to talk about it. You know, I really wish you came here to talk about us. Anyways, I'm late for work. Baby, I'm ready. Yes, sir. Well, oh, interesting. You know what, I'll be outside. It I need to go to bed in this house. I'm going to do exactly what? We're getting back together. Oh! Belinda agreed to this? Of course she agreed to it. That means she has forgiven you again. Yes, she has. And she insists that I must make her a promise before you and her mother. Even if you're not happy for me, can you at least pretend? Why should I pretend? You've hurt that girl enough. Are you protecting her interest or yours? Really? Now be very, very careful with me at a time like this. I actually thought you were going to be happy for me. She came to the house, we talked things over and decided to give each other another chance. All I need is, all I, all I need is your support. Mom, don't worry, it's gonna work out this time. And why do you think so? Because we both wanna make it work. Honestly, I don't understand this sudden change. I don't. Okay, so um, I went to his place and we talked about everything. And whatever talk it was, was okay for you? Well, let's just say that uh, the talk made me realize we need to do this. What happened at this place? Why are you asking too much? Nothing happened, Mom. Just know that he's coming with his dad because he needs to make a promise to me before the both of you. And how does that help him exercise self-control? Um, at least it shows that uh, he wants me enough. Is that okay now? No, it's not. But help me. I mean, help me cut these tomatoes. Okay. You said they will soon be on your way, so. Oh, do I do? Ah, get a okay, knife. The lettuce. Can you chop the lettuce?
Ma, I want to I want to apologize for the way I treated your daughter in the past. I want to assure you henceforth that things will be different. How will things be different? I'll do better. However, we are not here because of us. I mean, Belinda and I. Yes. What do you mean by that? Um. We are. We're all aware of you too. Now you be careful now, now. Dad, calm down. We're not here to embarrass you. We right. just want you two to make a decision. What do you mean by you two to take a decision now? We're here for the two of you to decide. Do you like Belinda's mom enough to make it official? Just like that, we exactly. decided to make it our business. After all, it was through us that you that you two met. So exactly. yes. You told me that. You told me that you like her. And that you're ready to settle down right now. Right? I did. Ooh. Has anything changed? No. Uh, well, um, Toby and I are very sure we can never be together again. And so. And we decided that uh, we can let you both know that if you really like each other, you can be together. If you want to. Yeah. Yes. But what we do not know is how much and how badly you two want to be together. Uh-huh. What? I... Hold on, we barely even know each other. We barely even know each other. I don't know how to be in a relationship. I do not have the slightest idea how to be married. Mom, don't worry, you will learn. Just say yes. Nancy? Just marry me. And then, um, we'll both have enough time to learn about each other. Though, what you're seeing here is all there is to me. And I know what I see in you and how I feel. You know, I have not felt the happiness I've felt these past few days I have known you. And I have also not felt the type of sadness that I felt these past few days when it was as if I was going to lose you. I don't want to feel that sadness again. You, you resurrected in me a feeling I thought was long dead. Aww. You resurrected it and if I made you feel like that, then marry me, I promise. No woman will be to be as loved as well taken care of like you. Maybe my mom is uninterested. Mm -hmm. I guess we should just go go ahead and eat and everyone can go home. No, I won't. I, I won't be your wife. <laughs> <laughs> Where are you? <laughs> With a this touch is of amazing! Your you make me realize oh, I can be happy once oh, again. Wait till you give me chop, I know if you don't understand. <laughs> yes. no, no, no. That is funny how love could be unpredictable. Now you can put your leg on my body. You can <laughs> <Will you? laughs> um, <clears throat> I want to thank you, first of all, for letting this happen. And thank you for letting us be friends. More like brother and sister and me. Yeah, I guess. <laughs> Um, I hope you know at this point I get to decide who you date or marry. 
Well, I, I can live with that. Good. Mm. Can we hug on that now? Oh. Uh, could be indescribable. <laughs> it's a miracle that somebody <laughs> like you course, can hold me right. down. It's incredible that you came around and changed my world somehow. It's a miracle yeah, yeah. that somebody like yeah, so you. Yes, so I think um, it is time yeah, for us to reintroduce the family yeah. to the people that need to know. <laughs> yeah, I'm sure they'll be dazed. <laughs> oh, nice. I'm really happy for you too. So, um, the listeners, I found love in a beautiful place. You guys, two minutes. My heart beats faster when you look at me. Slow it down, slow it down, down, down. I be trying to figure out this kind of thing. Cause you make me feel like I'm sweet 16. Slow it down, slow it down, down, down. It's a miracle that somebody like you can hold me down. Somehow, it's a miracle that somebody like you yeah, yeah. can hold me down. Then I realize that we hypnotized. Yeah. See, I know the lie, I've been hypnotized.